Okay, so everyone at home, I for, um, you didn't hear me, so make sure that you have maybe a scarf or a strap, two blocks maybe, or maybe at least one block, and um, a knee pad if you need it, or a towel, or whatever. You're going to start on your tummies. Okay, okay, so on your stomach. This is called crocodile. So the toes are touching, the heels are flopped to the side. You're going to cross your arms and rest either your forehead or one of your cheeks on to your arm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you should feel the, the armpits opening up a little bit, on the back opening up a little bit. It's a little gentle back bend. <clears throat> Some people sleep like this. <laughs> so just rest. <clears throat> So you're going to just start to arrive to your practice. So just relax, breathe, notice. So when I su suggest to arrive to your practice, that means letting go of what happened just a couple minutes ago. And just bring yourself to your mat, to your own little bubble, your own little space, and why you came to this practice today. So what, what, what is your intention? And you can set an intention. It could be whatever, whatever you want it to be. Something that you might want to focus on. And begin to check in with yourself. <laughs> So this might be a pose that you're not comfortable <laughs> with. Maybe it's new to you. Maybe you never go on your stomach. So just notice how it feels, what you're feeling in your physical body. <clears throat> and with every pose that you're ever in, regardless if it's yoga or going about your life, doing whatever you do in your day, we're always find, trying to find an ease, a place of ease. So try to find that place of ease. So something that feels somewhat comfortable. That might mean you might have to turn your feet a little bit different. That might mean you might need to move your arms a little bit different or move your head a little bit different. Trying to find that place of ease. So noticing your physical body as well as your breath. So how does it feel to breathe? Depending on how you normally breathe, it might feel maybe you restrict it a little bit. Because you're normally breathing through the front part of your body. We're a very forward-facing society. We tend to, everything is from the front. Well, now this time, See if you can draw your breath out through the back part of your body. You got lungs back there too. You've got your rib cage back there. See if you can expand through the back part of your body as you breathe. And just notice how that feels, whether it's through the nose or the mouth. See if you can expand through the, the lungs in through your back. And just notice, notice how it feels, not only physically, notice how you feel emotionally and mentally. Always checking in on your mental health as well too. What kind of thoughts are moving through your head? So this practice is going to be a little bit more on finding strength in the softness, finding softness in the strength. We're going to try to find balance between the two. We want to be strong. We want to be strong physically, mentally, emotionally, but we also want to find some softness in there too. <clears throat> we don't want to be so hard in, in our strength so that we don't let any 
anything soft come in. We want to find some softness. Hopefully everyone knows what I'm talking about there. <clears throat> so finding that softness, but still being strong. Being strong and still feeling soft. Okay, we're gonna take two more breaths here in this position. And then when you're ready, you're going to roll over onto your right side in a fetal position. So you're gonna come over onto your right side, cradle your head, your left leg's gonna be on top, and maybe your left hand comes right beside your chest for a little bit more support. Your knees might be stacked or they might be a little twisted, that's totally fine. You do you, find out what works best in your body. And again, some people can, can sleep like this. Some people find it maybe on, on this side of the body. You've got blocks if you need to put it underneath your head. So we're still mainly breathing out through the back part of our lungs. Because if you might notice that the, the chest is a little bit more concave, it's caving kind of inwards. <clears throat> or maybe yours isn't, maybe you're open up through the chest a little bit more so you can actually breathe through the front part of your body. So just notice. And then we're going to take three more breaths here. Keep noticing as much as you can. And then after those three breaths, you have the choice. You can either roll back onto your tummy or you can roll onto your back as you make your way over onto your left side for a fetal position. So either on through the back or you can roll onto your front. Whatever works the best for you. And then you're gonna roll over towards that other side. Now all to all, both sides are created equal. So you might notice that this side might be feel a little bit more easy or it might feel a little bit more difficult. And that's okay. So just notice, making sure that you adjust your body. And again, just notice the way that you're breathing, how you need to hold yourself. And we're going to take three more breaths. Just noticing as much as you possibly can. And then whenever you are finished with those breaths, you're going to roll yourself back onto your tummy and bring yourself into child's pose. Your child's pose is wide legs. You're going to reach your hips back. So use the blocks if you need to. Your hips are going towards your heels. Whether they touch or not, it doesn't matter. You just find where you need to be. Can you do that on the chair? Yes, you can. So just sit on the chair. And you just forward fold. Hmm. So yeah, so if you're sitting on the chair, so you're sitting and you're just going to bring your forearms onto your thighs. 
and you're just gonna become soft. Yeah, just like that. Okay, so just take a few moments here. Just noticing again, how are you feeling? We're breathing again through the back part of our bodies. Let's take two more breaths. And then the next time you exhale, you're going to walk your hands over towards the right side. So if you're sitting on a chair, you're just going to move your body over towards that right side. Yeah, you can bring your arms down onto your thighs. Yeah, and just so it's just a little bit of a side bend. So you're just going to walk your hands over towards that, that right side. So you're still staying in a child's pose. It's just a little bit of a side bend. And you're going to breathe in and out through that left side of the body. And still making sure, noticing what's happening, what, what's going on, what you're feeling. So it takes strength to stay in the pose and it creates, you can use your softness to relax into the pose. Okay, on your next breath, bring yourself back to center, into your child's pose. And then on your exhale, you're going to walk your hands over towards that left side this time. You're going to be breathing in and out through the right side of the body. And again, just notice, you don't have to force anything. You just might find a little bit of a stretch through that, through that right side of the body. Okay, on your next inhalation, bring yourself back to center. You're going to stay in child's pose for a couple more breaths. We're just going to start to squeeze the hands and then open them up wide. And then maybe just twist the hands and the wrists back and forth. So that, that movement could be coming from the elbows. It could be coming from the shoulders or just the wrists. So you're twisting the hands, squeezing them, opening up to release them. And creating just some warmth, some movement into those arms. So squeezing, opening, twisting. Doesn't matter in which in which way you just do you. Just warming up the joints, warming up the arms. Do that for a couple more breaths. Okay, and then take a moment to pause just to notice. And then you're gonna bring yourself up into table. So we're gonna do some cows and cats. Remember when we were doing table before, you have the choice of being table on your hands and knees. Use the knee pad if you need to, or a towel or something. Or you can come up and stand up, or you may um, sit on a chair. <laughs> okay? So make sure that you're equally distributed through your hands and through your feet and through your knees and through your seat if you're sitting on a chair. And we're going to lower the belly into the cow, lift up the tailbone, lift up the head, open up to the chest and the shoulders. This is our cow. Exhale, round out, push the back up or back towards the chair, pushing the ground away from you. That's our cat. We're going to do that a couple more times, just moving at your own pace. Cow and cat. 
So cow is then opening and cat is a rounding up through the back. So you're opening up through the back into our cat. Cow is opening up through the front. And if you really pay attention, you're gonna feel the different muscles working here just to perform these movements. Going back and forth, back and forth. Pay attention to what you feel, any sensations through the body. Let's do one more of those. And then return to your table. And we're gonna come into a low lunge. So we're gonna take that right leg and bring it between our hands. Grab the foot if you need to, do whatever you need to do. Find your balance here, okay? And then you're gonna lift yourself up bring your hands onto your knee okay so if you're sitting on a chair i don't actually have a chair here but you're going to bring now i'm just going to come back over here to you so i need to just move that into the back and then this leg this one you're going to have to move over to the side of the chair and bring it back oh yeah okay. back yeah kind of yeah <laughs> Grab the chair. Hi, folks. Okay. <laughs> okay, so your hands are on your right knee. I'm going to bring a chair here. Just so, okay. So if you're on a chair, you're going to come over to the side of the chair. So the leg can be back. And you're still planted. Yeah. Okay. So it would be like this or on the ground. Okay, so now notice if your toes are tucked. Some people like to do that. It opens up through the arch a little bit more, or you can just, yes. yeah, or you can bring your toes down. Okay. Some people might find this a little bit more wonky, but you, you do you, and you just do you, okay? So our hands are down here, but we're not pressing a lot onto this thigh, okay? Just gently, 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 and open up through the chest. We're going to lift up the heart. Slide the shoulders down. That doesn't mean we're squeezing the shoulder blades. Keep the back open too. And look forwards. And your chin is parallel to the ground. Okay. We also want to make sure that this knee doesn't collapse inwards. We want to keep the knee right over top of that ankle. Okay. Keep the balance here. And then bring your arms up. Reach up. Reach up as high as you can without bringing your shoulders up. Keep the shoulders down, but the arms up. They can be soft though. Okay, so this is where we find our softness and strength at the same time. We're strong in our legs, but we can find some softness here. Softness in the face, in the jaw, softness in the arms and the fingers. Softness in the eyes, maybe. Softness with the breath. You shouldn't be going like this. <laughs> Okay, so soften, <laughs> soften that breath up a little bit. Good, we'll take one more breath here. Okay, and then exhale, we're gonna bring those hands all the way down. Okay, let's take that right leg, bring it back, back into our table. Okay, and let's take that left foot and bring it over it. Mm -hmm. Use the knee pad if you need to, and then bring yourself up. Bring those hands again. See if you can bring the other hand down to the thigh. <laughs> Sometimes just grabbing the foot as well, too. So that foot is back here. Grab the foot. Bring it forward. I know. My knee is so Okay. <laughs> oh, no. no. So just stand up and do it. Okay. Yeah, stand up and do it. So you're going to be like this. Yeah. Or I'm going to give you a chair. You can do it on the yes. chair. Yes, yes. There you go. Because of my knee replacement. That's so. okay. Okay, so left foot is forward and your hands are here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you're going to go 
over towards that side. Yeah. And that left leg's going to go back. Right leg's going to go back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we go. And we find ourselves here. And again, toes can, at the back can be curled or not. Entirely up to you. It's just you're going to have different sensations. Use the knee pads if you need to. That's what the knee pads are for. <laughs> okay. And just take a moment here, breathe. Again, finding strength here. So we're lifting up, we're lengthening through the sides of the body. We're opening up through the chest and the shoulders. Okay, try not to collapse and sink into it because this is not doing us any favors. Okay, hold it up here like this. Soften through your jaw, soften through your eyes. Okay, and then on your next breath, reach your arms up. And again, shoulders don't go up towards the ears. Keep them down, keep the arms soft. Okay, soft but stable. Again, that softness and that strength, they're, they're being used at exactly the same time. And keeping that knee right over top of the ankle. So some of you might have to walk your foot forward just a little bit more just to find your balance here. Take a couple breaths. Breathe, smile, <laughs> or an either even just an inner smile, or just an inner smile. You don't have to have this great big grin on your face, just inner smile. <laughs> okay, one more breath here. Ooh, okay, and then let's bring our hands down back into our table. Take a moment here. Okay, and then we're going to come into a downward dog. So we're going to lift up those knees and come into a downward dog. Now, as we're in this inversion, just allow that head to hang. Keep breathing, okay? Make sure you're not, you're not holding your breath. We don't want to get dizzy. And then play with the feet and the hands. So maybe walk the hands forwards a little bit. Maybe walk the feet back a little bit. Maybe walk the hands towards the feet, the feet towards the hands. Use the chair. <laughs> nope. Your hand on the, the mat. Don't up the This. All right. And there you go. Walk the feet back. That's right. Okay. Remember, there's always the chat. You can always use a table, a wall, a chair, holding on to the seat or the back. And then just walking your feet back until you come into a downward dog. Okay, your knees can be as bent as you like. Your heels do not need to reach the ground. Just take a few moments here. And don't feel like you have to stay in the pose the whole time. Come in, go out. Come in, go out. Okay, let's walk our hands towards our feet. Our feet towards our hands. Doesn't matter. You do you. We're just now in a forward bend. Whether you touch your toes or you don't, it doesn't matter, just as long as you're thinking about it. Bending into the knees as much as you need to. Okay, and then bend into the knees a little bit more to bring yourself all the way up, all the way up. Reaching up towards the ceiling, growing as tall as you can, moving down through both feet. I see everybody, I can't, but anyway, hopefully everyone can kind of see me. And I'm holding it up here, and then bringing those arms all the way down. And we're going to reach those arms down and out. So this is Tadasana Mountain Pose. So a mountain is a really good example of softness and strength. So the exterior of a mountain is very, very strong. It's rocks, trees pebbles, whatever. Um, sometimes mountains are volcanoes. Inside, there's usually something soft inside a mountain. But mountains are very, very strong. But there's still some softness. So as you reach down through your feet and reach down through your fingers and you're reaching up through the crown of your head, lengthening, still find softness with your breath and with your face. Okay, maybe your eyes close. Maybe they stay open, but again, we're not opening up the eyes wide and staring directly at something. We're softening this very, very soft gaze. Jaw soft. Find some breath here. When you're standing up, 
tall is difficult. <laughs> okay, now from here, we're gonna bring your hands towards the heart and we're gonna just shift the weight from foot to foot. Foot to foot. So the foot is not, each foot is not coming up off the ground. We're just finding the weight moving from side to side, side to side. It's a little swaying. You might like this with your eyes closed. You might not. It might get you seasick. So <laughs> you find what works best for you. From side to side. Okay. So we're going to stay on to the right side for a moment. And we're just going to just let that left foot hover. Okay. But we're not going to fall over towards the side. The foot is kind of hovering, it's still kind of touching the ground. We're making that right foot, right leg work a little bit more. The knee can be as bent as you like. And the more you can maybe push your hands together, the more you're going to find some strength to stay there. Push into your whole foot. Okay. And then bring that left foot down and then sway over towards that left side. And then that right foot is just going to kind of hover. It's still touching the ground. And you're standing up nice and tall and you're pushing those hands together. Giving yourself a little bit more strength. Soften through your jaw, soften your breath. Make sure you're breathing. Okay, and then bring both feet into the ground and then bring those arms down. Take a moment here. Mm -hmm. Good. And then in, sweep those arms all the way up, reach up. Grow up as tall as you can. And then exhale, just bring the arms all the way down. This next one, we're going to come up onto the toes, okay? So Allison, just onto the one foot. <laughs> Inhale, lift all the way up. We're gonna lift up those heels. It doesn't, they don't have to be up very high. Just as high as you're comfortable being where you can stay and you can breathe, okay? Lengthen through the side bodies, press into your big toe mounts. And into your little toe mounds. Hold it there, breathe. You're gonna feel all kind of wobbly, that's okay. Then lower your heels with control. Bring your arms all the way out and bend into the knees to forward fold. All the way down, reach down towards the toes. Whether you touch them or not, does not matter. And then inhale, bring yourself all the way back up again. Reach up, grow a little taller. Good, and then bring your hands towards your heart. Good, and then down by your side. Good, take a moment here. Okay, we're gonna do a little twist. So we're going to take the right leg. The right leg is going to go back. Warrior one, 45 degrees. Okay, let me Yes, left knee is bent, okay. And we're facing the short part of our mats, okay? So if you put your hands on your hips, and your hands are facing, okay? And hold here. So inhale, reach up. Warrior one. We've all done this before. Okay, so on your next breath, you're gonna straighten that front leg and you're going to lift up through the back foot. Okay, find your balance here. We've done both these things before too. Now this back, the back foot, we're going to pivot it. So we're coming to warrior two. You might have to move your foot a little bit back. Okay, so your left heel is bisecting the arch of your right foot. Okay, and you're going to bring the arms out and bend into that left knee. Your body's right in between. So we're not leaning forwards. We're not leaning back. We're right, body's right in between. And you're looking over your left hand. So warrior two. Good. Hold it there. Breathe. Good. And then we're going to tilt ourselves backwards. Tilt, 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 tilt. Keep the leg. Well, the front knee bent. So this is our reverse warrior. And then bringing ourselves right back into warrior two. And then tilt forwards. Just the arms and the upper body are tilting. 
tilt, 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 tilt. Arms are reaching away from each other, keeping your chest and your shoulders open as much as you can. Okay, and then we're gonna bring ourselves all the way back into warrior two. Okay, and then we're going to pivot again. So we're gonna bring that back leg up, so the foot up onto the ball of the foot, and we're gonna come back to that high lunge, yeah. And then we're gonna bring the arms are up, bring them down towards the heart, and we're gonna take a step forwards. Okay, my picture frame. And then we're gonna bend into the knees just a little bit. It's just a little tiny chair, okay? So it's like there's a high stool that we're gonna sit on, not a chair that's only 17 inches above the ground, okay? So remember how you felt in that cow and cat? So this is our cow, this is our cat. So right in between that neutral position. And we're gonna do a little twist. So we're gonna twist over towards that right side. So the left elbow is moving over towards the right. Good. Try to keep your knees center. We don't wanna twist the knees. We're twisting right through our torso. Good. And then inhale, come back to center. Stretch yourself up, reach up. Bring the hands towards your heart and then bend back into the knees. Bend back into that high stool chair. Okay, neutral spine again. And then we're gonna twist over towards that other side. Twist. So again, the knees stay exactly where they are. Try not to allow them to sway. And only go as far as you can. Again, this is softness and strength at the same time. Okay, and then inhale, coming back to your center. Stretch yourself back up again. Reach up, and then this time we're going to do a forward fold. Open up the arms and forward fold all the way back down. Good, come up halfway. Hands on around the, th the, the thighs. And your back is nice and level, as much as it can be. Your hips are level, shoulders are level, shoulders are still sliding down your back. Neck is long, so we're not looking up and crunching through the back of the neck. Good. And then exhale, forward fold again. And then let's bring ourselves all the way up to sound. Reaching up, hands to the heart, <clears throat> and then come back into your mountain pose. And just take a moment to stand here and just take a few breaths. Notice, breathe. Your breath might have gone. So now let's calm it down. The way we do that is focus on the breath. Allow the exhale to be a little bit longer. So really controlling that exhale. Notice as you're doing this, you're becoming a little bit softer with the breath, a little bit softer with the heartbeat, letting the body soften a little bit more. Okay, well, let's do the other leg now. Okay, so take a big breath in here. And we're going to take that left leg and bring it back. 45 degrees, and we're gonna come into our warrior one again with the right foot in front, bend into that knee, and then bring those arms up. Okay, again, our hips are facing the front part of the mat. Okay. Equal weight through both feet. Okay, so now we're gonna straighten that front leg, and we're gonna lift up the back foot. Okay, and then we're gonna pivot that back foot to 90 degrees so the toes are facing the long part of the mat. Adjust the foot and we'll come into warrior two. It's okay. <laughs> Things happen. Oh. Like, like cramps, <laughs> yeah, that happens. Okay, so that right knee is bent. 
and we have a little external rotation here, okay? So that knee stays right over the ankle, but it's kind of tracking to those middle toes. So we don't want it to sway in, because when, when the knee sways in, you're putting a lot of weight into the knee. It's gonna hurt. It's really, the knee is the worst joint in the body, honestly. So we wanna keep it, we wanna keep all these muscles around the knee contracted and strong to help hold that knee in place, okay? Okay, so we're reaching the arms out. We're looking over that right now. Good. Find our balance here. Equal weight through both feet. Good. And then we're going to reverse our warrior. So we're just going to tilt our upper body back. Yeah, backwards. <laughs> kind of backwards to the side. So we're open up through the right side of the body. Good. Nope, the front arm is up. The front arm is up. Me? Yes. Yeah. The other arm. Up. Yep. The there right we go. Arm. Yep. The right arm. The right arm. The yeah. right arm. Yes. Right. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's not, you know what? It's not, it's not just me. Our rights and our lefts. So we should be facing, yes, this way. So it's backwards. So that right arm is up. The left arm is down. Good. Okay, so now we're going to bring ourselves back to warrior two. And we'll tilt ourselves forward. So now that right arm is coming forwards. And it's either just resting, yep. So bring it forwards. Nope, towards me. Yes, there we go. Yes. Yeah. I don't know why that's what that's okay, neither do I. <laughs> Holding it here, taking a moment, breathing, noticing. Okay, and then we're gonna bring ourselves all the way back up again. Good, okay. Now bring our hands, let's see. We're going to pivot that back foot and bring our arms up. We're in a high lunge, and then we're going to bring our hands towards the heart, and we're gonna take a step forwards. Oh. <laughs> okay, so we find the way through both of our feet. We're going to come back into that chair again. Okay, just a little chair, as if there was a big stool behind us, and that's what we were going to sit on. Okay, so keep the knees level with each other. Keep that spine in that neutral position, so right between a cow and a cat. Okay, shoulders stay soft, and we're going to twist towards that right side first. Okay. So we're twisting right through our midsection. The hips and the knees are staying exactly where they are. So if they're starting to move, that means you twisted too far. Okay, inhale, come back to your center and lift up. Bring those arms up with you. Big breath in, exhale, bring your hands towards the heart and we're gonna sit again. Again, um, high heeled or high, high stool chair. <laughs> Okay, soften through the shoulders, and then we're gonna twist over towards that left side. And again, only as far as you can. When you start to notice the knees twisting or the hips twisting, you've gone too far. Then you have to come back a little bit. So you really feel your, your legs working here. Lots of strength happening. Okay, inhale, come back through center, and then lift yourself all the way up, reach up, Grow as tall as you can, open up the arms and forward fold all the way down. All the way down. And then come up halfway, hands onto the thighs, nice level back here. Good. And then forward fold again. Good. And then bring yourself all the way back up. Reach up. Good, and then hands to the heart, and then down by your sides again into your mountain pose. Okay, so we're gonna make our way facing that right wall. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your right leg back, and then you're gonna pivot so you're facing the right wall. And your toes are gonna be kind of turned out a little bit. Both feet, both feet. Both feet are turned out, so you're totally facing that right wall, okay? But we're gonna explain it. 
just hold, holding it here. So it's kind of like a wide, <laughs> wide legged Tadasana mountain pose. Okay. So push equally into both feet. And the toes are turned out just a little bit, like maybe 30 degrees, maybe 45 at the most. Okay. Okay. So we're going to bring the arms up and we're going to come into a five pointed star. Okay, so the feet are kind of going towards the corners of the mat. The arms are going to the corners of the room. And your head is the top of the star. So a five-pointed star. So we want to make sure that the openness is in through the armpits and through the chest. And even in through your hip flexor. So maybe just do a little tiny pelvic tilt. And just open up through the front part of the body just a little bit more. Good, okay, then exhale, bring your hands towards your heart. Good, and then we're gonna bend into the knees. So we're gonna bend into both knees and we're making it, this is called a goddess pose. So we're just kind of scrunching down into kind of a squat, doesn't have to be very deep. And we wanna make sure that your butt doesn't stick out. So we wanna bring the butt in a little bit, so a little bit of a pelvic tilt at the bottom, of the pelvis is coming kind of coming forwards. Your knees are kind of going back over top of your ankles, tracking over towards your middle toes. Okay, and now we're gonna bring our arms open into cactus arms. Spread out the fingers, spread out the fingers. So your wrists are over top of your elbows and your elbows are in line with your shoulders. The very, very powerful pose here. Okay, take a breath in here. Exhale it out. Inhale back into your star. Stretch and grow. And then exhale, bring those arms all the way down and into your mountain pose again. Legs are straight. Good. Take a moment here because we're going to do that one more time. Get your breath back. Are you feeling powerful? Strong but soft. Okay. So on your in next inhalation, press into both feet equally. Keep your legs straight, a little bit of a micro bend, but we're really not bending our knees. Bring those arms up, back into your star. So a nice strong star opening up through your whole front part of the body, even through the back part of your body. You're reaching, 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 and expand, expanding the light. Okay, and then we're going to bend into those knees. Doesn't have to be a lot, but we need to be really strong in our legs. And then bring the arms into cactus arms. Elbows are coming out of the shoulders and the wrists are right over top of the elbows. Almost like goalposts. Take a big breath in here. Sigh it out. Big breath in. Sigh it out. Big breath in, grow into a star. And exhale, bring the arms all the way down into your Tadasana. Woo, did you work good today? Okay, <laughs> hold it here. Just bring the arms down by your sides. Just take a moment here. And we're gonna make our way back onto the ground. Okay, so let's pivot back to however you wanna get to the front part of the, the mat. So the front part of your mat. Okay. And then we're gonna inhale those arms all the way up. Reach up and exhale, forward fold all the way down. Touch your toes or not, just nice and soft here. Yeah. And then you're going to come up halfway, lengthen right through your back. So it's a nice level back. Okay, and then we're going to place our hands down. And those of you who are using the chair, you're going to use the chair for coming into your downward dog. Step your feet back or hold on to the seat if you need to and into your downward dog. Okay, so lengthy, lengthening through the back part of your legs. Your heels do not need to reach the ground but the idea is to reach towards the ground. Whether they touch or not, does not matter. Reach your fingers forwards, your heels back, 
And then slowly, we're going to bring the knees down. And back into table for a moment. And then we're gonna move the hips over towards one side and bring the legs out and sit in your staff pose. So this is staff pose. Okay, knees can be a little bit on the bent side. Your toes are kind of flexed up. We're sitting up nice and tall. Okay, so you're gonna use a little bit of muscle strength for this. We're going to walk ourselves forwards. As far as far as you can. One leg, one leg, one leg, and then the other leg, and then we're gonna go backwards. There's lots of muscle doing this. <laughs> And then go back as far as you can go. And then go forwards again. Until your feet are kind of at the edge of the mat. Good. Excellent. Okay. And then we're going to take the right leg and we're going to bend it. Hold on to the shin. Sit up nice and tall. And then take your left hand, place it onto the shin or the tibia. Take your right arm, lift it up, and then you're going to twist over and back, bring the hand back behind you, and then down and to the ground. So we're sitting up nice and tall. Okay, and we're twisting. So we're twisting that way. Yeah. <laughs> we're twisting that way. Good. So we're pushing in with that right hand, and we're lifting up. Okay. And we're looking over our, to the right side. a breath here okay and now take that right hand lift it all the way up big circle as you bring yourself back to the front part of your mat good and then stretch that right leg out moving the left foot in good you're gonna keep holding it with the right hand this time set up nice and tall and then take that left arm, reaching it all the way up, big circle as it reaches all the way back behind you, and you find yourself twisting towards that left side. You're pushing into the ground with that left hand, lifting yourself up, keep the chest open, keep the shoulders open. A couple breaths here. Okay, and I'll take that left hand, lift it up, big circle as it comes all the way front and towards the front. Bring the hand down, stretch those legs out, give them a little shake, and then we're going to make our way onto our backs. So you can wiggle yourself around, bend into your knees, and bring yourself all the way down onto your back. Keep your knees bent. And just find yourself on your back. Take two breaths here. Feel both shoulders touching the ground. If you feel your head is tilted too far back, maybe put a knee pad or a block underneath your head. We want the chin to be lifting up towards the ceiling, not back behind us. Let the nose pointing up towards the ceiling. Okay, now let's heel toe the feet towards the outer edges of your mat. Okay, and then we're just going to, you can bring the arms where they feel comfortable. Some people like above the head, some people like into a T or cactus arms or maybe on your chest. And then you're just going to sway your knees from side to side. We're coming into a nice gentle twist, just side to side. And just take a few moments going side to side. This is a very soothing, like a rocking motion. And the nervous system really, really likes this. This brings us back to when we were babies and we were rocked. 
by our loved ones. It's a very, very soothing motion, not only to our physical bodies, but it's also into our mental body, into our brain. And the next time you over on one side, doesn't matter which side, you're just going to drop the knees down. Maybe you need to adjust them a little bit. So you come into some head. sort of a twist. <laughs> you can turn your head if that suits you. And just take a few moments to to stay. If it, this doesn't feel good staying in your twist, you can keep moving the knees side to side. It's always an option. Just because I suggest it doesn't mean you necessarily have to do it. And when you, you're done on one side, then move them over to the other side and maybe take a moment, a couple moments here. Settling on this side of the body. If you if you just if you moved your head and you turned your head in one direction, make sure that you do turn your head in the opposite direction just to balance everything out. And then whenever you are ready, you can bring yourself into your savasana. So that might be with your legs straight, or you might keep your knees bent and your knees might come together. So you get comfortable, however it suits you. You might even prefer in a fetal position as well. So just find where it feels good and comfortable for you to settle and relax. Relaxing is known as one of the more difficult poses, even though we're relaxing. Sometimes the mind doesn't want to, so focus on your breath. Just watch yourself breathe and have the breath relax you. On your next breath, allow it to deepen. And slowly begin to bring your awarenesses back. And peacefully bring a little bit of movement into your bodies, maybe wiggling your fingers and your toes, maybe moving your head from side to side. Give yourself a little stretch if you like. And go over onto your side, either side, it doesn't matter, and then bring yourself up into a seat. Sitting up, 
comfortably. When you're ready, you can sit on your bl a block if you like, knee pad if you like, sitting up nice and tall. See if you can close your eyes. If the eyes don't want to close, it's fine. Just create a soft gaze. <laughs> you can rest your hands wherever and then return to your breath. So you're going to start to count your breath. You're going to move to a three and three breath. So you're going to count, inhale for three, and exhale for three. And everyone breathes a little bit differently, so I'm not going to count for you. You just count for yourself, however that works. But take your time. And your next breath, maybe you can grow it to a four and four. So you can inhale for a count of four and exhale for a count. Let me see if we can get that up to a five and five or a six and a six. It just depends on <laughs> yourself, how you are today. So five and five or six and six. Do it gently, peacefully, softly. Let's do one more of those breaths. And then allow your regular rhythm of breathing to return and take a moment to reflect on your practice. If you set an intention, maybe return to that intention. What brought you to practice today? And then the idea of softness and strength, how we balance those up through the practice, where you found your strength, where you found your softness. And anything else that you'd like to reflect on for the practice? Any thoughts? And then we'll bow our hand, head to our hands. And we'll give ourselves some gratitude for showing up. Showing up to to create, to create your practice. And really all that we do in, in our living life is practice. We keep practicing until we can get it right. And that that's, it's just a lot of practice. But thank you very much for showing up for yourself and to this practice, for sharing the energy that you brought. And we'll finish with OM. Take a breath in through the nose. Sigh it out through the mouth. Mm -hmm. Breathe in for Om. Om. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. Thank you, everybody. Thank you.